Good evening, teacher. Hey, Gino. How are you? Good? I'm great. How about you? I'm just tired. I just want to go to sleep after class. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. well, teacher, I, I, had a, I have a question about the, the midterm. Yeah. If, well, two questions. Uh, I was doing the listening part, and I think a question is wrong. Well, we're going to do the midterm today, so it's not a problem. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And and I had trouble with the the combine and rewrite sentences because I, I I think that I I do them properly, but I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Well, don't worry. We're gonna check, make sure everything okay. is okay. Um, the same with your. Uh, with your partners to make sure that everybody is doing it correctly and in case there Excellent. are some technical problems. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now you said uh, with the, well, one is the listening, but the other one was mixed, uh, the mixed sentences, right? Yeah, they combine and, and rewrite sentences. Okay. And what happened with the combine and rewrite? Uh, it didn't for, work for, out or what? Yeah, for instance, I have two wrong, but but I'm not sure where, if I messed up, where I messed up, uh, I'm not sure. Okay. That's uh, section B, right? Yeah, section B, part one. Okay, okay. Yeah, no problem. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Excellent. Yeah. Let me go to the right one. All right. So let's see who else we got. Flor, Miguel, and Roxana. How are you guys? How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Everything evening. is okay, thanks. Yeah. Happy that it's Thursday? Um, what? Are you happy that it's Thursday? Thursday, I don't understand. Thursday, are you happy that today? Ah, yeah, 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 I am. Uh, I am happy today. <laughs> <laughs> I understand Thursday. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So, as you know, uh, today we already finished. Yesterday we finished unit two, and the idea is for today to, for us to get started with our midterm. Before we begin the midterm, are there any questions about unit one? or unit two, something that uh, wasn't clear, vocabulary, grammar, uh, structures, anything like that? Well, I have problem in the middle term with the, with the when you use some lie, while, and a sentence, when you com, uh, combine two sentences in one. Okay. And I review the notes, but I I tried to answer and I have problem again. I don't mm -hmm. know if, if we can review a little. Yeah, well, well, yeah, well uh, we are going to work in the midterm, but we can review your question. So what is the question? You don't know how to use while or meanwhile? Well, I tried to combine two sentences because the question about in the middle term is combine two sentences in one using right. Uh, uh, what is the, the name of the while? Uh, the conjunction. Conjunction. Uh -huh. Conjunction. Conjunction. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna work on them together and make sure that everybody is the issues are solved together uh, because it's it's normal. It's normal to have a little bit of questions or something. And not only that, but you have to remember that sometimes the the platform is not is not perfect. Sometimes there are little mistakes because the people write in and they forgot to put in the period, or sometimes they forget a capital letter. So just little things. So it's not always that the the platform is the only answer. Sometimes there is a mistake in the platform and we need to correct it. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make sure that everything is okay and that you don't have any problems and we're going to work on it together. So the first thing we're going to start off with is if we are ready to begin the midterm, we're gonna join with our partners and we're gonna go through them. I'm gonna explain first, what are the midterms, the things that we have, and then we're gonna work on them, okay? Okay, thanks teacher. You're welcome. All right, let's take a look. So in our midterm, which is uh, right after unit two, 
we're going to be taking a look at several sections. We have five sections. The first section is a listening. There's a listening. Um, we're going to have a couple of listenings. There's four questions for part one. And then in part two, you need to listen to a different conversation. And of course, there are four more questions for that. It's important that when you listen, don't listen one time, listen two times. The first time you listen, listen and put down what you think is the correct answer. Then listen again and check, is it correct or do you want to change your answer? And this way it's easier for you to have a better understanding of the listening, okay? Then in part two, where it's combined and rewrite, uh, I know some of you already started. The idea is sentence number one, along with sentence number two, you have to write the complete sentence, but you need to put the word in parentheses. You, you have to use the word in parentheses to combine the two sentences. Remember, with these, they're not always used in the middle. Sometimes they're in the middle, sometimes they're at the beginning, sometimes they're in different locations. And sometimes you need to eliminate some words in order to join the two sentences. Gino, tell me. Yeah, that, that was one of the questions I had. How do you know when you're gonna put it in the, in, for instance, in the, in the middle of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence? Well, what, it, what's the catchphrase there or, or what's the trick there to, to know uh, where you're gonna use it? Yeah, usually it's the word itself. The word itself is the one that tells you, for example, unlike is very, very common to be used at the beginning, um, but sometimes they can use in the middle. So it's just about the context because you have to make sure that you understand what unlike means. So you need to put unlike and then the description, okay? Or the description and then the sense. So it's all about the word that you use, like in unlike, while, or except for the fact that those words have a specific meaning, like in, on, at is the same function. Do you know, because you practice a lot in, do you know where to put in? So I work in a bank, right? No, I work bank in, no, in, I work bank. Do you know, because the in has a specific location where you use it. It has to always go before the description, or in this case, before the noun. But the word unlike is the same function. It's always before that type of description, not the type of word. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that as well. Um, and in God, let me go back to Sharon to make sure. Um, so that one is combining. It's usually, I have to be honest, usually the part where it's combining and writing is usually the most difficult for most people because this is, this is not only where you have to use your creativity, but it's also where you have to be exact the way that it is. So don't worry, we're gonna go through that as well to make sure at the end that it's correct. Then circle the words, it's fairly easy because you only have two options. All you have to do is read and choose in part one and part two, which is the best word or uh, the correct form in order to complete the sentences, okay? So this one, just read and then choose the right one. And then write the word. Of course, you do have to write the word using the word keep or the word stay, okay? So those are the words that you want to use in order to combine it, but you don't have to write the entire sentence, just the word. And then the last part, reading. Reading, you're going to answer the questions with information from here. Is it true or false according to the information there? Not what you think, but to information there. And the same thing in part two, another reading, and then the same, whether it's true or false. Are the instructions clear? Yes, yes, they're clear. Okay. Yes, so, teacher. Great. That's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a few groups. And with those groups, we're going to work. We're going to have... It shouldn't take you so long um, because we're going to be focusing directly in working in that. So we're gonna give each group 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna check the answers to make sure that everybody is correct, unless there's somebody that needs more time, okay? Okay, thank you, Teach. Okay, so with your partners, we're gonna have uh, 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, remember, then we're gonna come back, see if you have some that you couldn't figure out or some that you say, I know. Uh, my partner and I, we couldn't, we, we didn't know. We don't know what is the correct answer. And then we can check whether the system is wrong or whether you are wrong. Okay. 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 
Let's do it.
Hey, Vanya, we're in the exam. I'll send you to the group.
Hey, I mean, you had some problems, right?
Hi, teacher. Hey, you have a question, Mart? Yes, please. We have, um, we, we are ready. So, oh, so great. we need just one. Um, we have a problem here in, in part B. Okay, part the B. The first, the first one. Mm -hmm. And uh, number four. Part Sus one, parents four. are traditional. But, they want mm -hmm. her to have a career. They, their parents, except for the fact that. Okay. So we put, we put Sus parents are tradition. No. <sighs> Traditional. Okay. Except for the fact that they want her to have a career. That is correct. Ah uh, no, but I don't know. Let me see. Share the screens. Okay. Hmm, wait a second, porque es bien fuerte. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, this one. Okay. The school's parents are traditional, except for the fact that they want her to have a career. Mm. Okay, okay. I see that. I see the mistake. Thank you. I show you. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can close. It's okay. How? How? Okay. Uh, okay. So copy and paste from the from the chat. Okay. So spans are traditional. Eh, comma. So, uh, copy and paste from okay. the chat. That way you don't have the mistake. The comma is what the mistake. Yes. The comma. Okay. Without the space. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. All um, right. We have yeah. another problem. <laughs> uh, Doris, sorry. Do we have another? Only no. no, only mm. the number one, the number four. Okay. okay, let's go back then. I think Thanks. I think the other people should be finished also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Need them if they want more time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think, hang on. Don't worry for us. We can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Easier, you forgot to return. No, no, I checked in the WhatsApp and I say more time. That's why I was waiting, but I was with the other group, helping the group. Uh huh. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, I, did everybody finish? Yes, complete, so so. Okay, don't worry. Good if teacher, good teacher. Yes. Uh, we have a problem in part B. Ah, don't worry. We're going to check in this moment all the parts to make sure everything is clear. And we're going to see. Okay. okay thank you. All right. Let's take a look at part one, uh, letter, sorry, uh, section A, part one. So the first one is, what was it? Akiko isn't used to? Vegetables and soup. Okay, good. What about number two? What does she eat for breakfast? Egg and rice with fish. Mm -hmm. Number three? Milk, Milk and cereal. cereal. Okay. Uh, Gino, you have a question? 
Uh, yes, teachers, these are the ones that I was telling you about at the beginning of the, of the, the class. Because, because the listening. yeah, the listening part, because uh, as I understood it, the, 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 for instance, the, the first one, uh, she said that she's not used to eat cheese like dairy. Okay. And the, the second one, she eats uh, eggs and rice with fish, but not for breakfast, but for lunch and dinner. All right, we'll, we'll listen and then make sure that way we, we can understand if what, what was the, the issue. And what about number four? What was number four? Number four, British. Okay, so let's listen and check those answers. Listen to a conversation between two exchange students, Akiko and Jack. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Jack. Hello there, Akiko. How are you? Not bad. How about you? Excellent. I'm really enjoying living with my American host family. Yeah, me too. Except that sometimes it's hard to follow their customs. What do you mean? Well, the food mainly. My host family eats cereal and milk for breakfast and cheese sandwiches for lunch. And for dinner, they usually eat some kind of pasta with cheese sauce. Yeah, and? Is that weird? Well, at home, I don't eat so much milk and cheese. That's a lot of dairy. What does your family normally eat? Japanese food mainly. For breakfast, we usually eat rice and miso soup. For lunch and dinner, we eat rice and some type of grilled meat or fish, often with... So, right there, they say she eats for breakfast, rice, and on. Let's listen. That weird? Well, at home, I don't eat so much milk and cheese. That's a lot of dairy. What does your family normally eat? Japanese food mainly. For breakfast, we usually eat rice and miso soup. For lunch and dinner, we eat rice and some type of grilled meat or fish, often with eggs. Sometimes my mother makes seafood and vegetables with noodles or prepares a tofu dish. We don't eat cheese or drink milk very often. I guess I never thought about how much. Yes, the, the, it's not vegetable soup, you're right. She says she isn't used to eating cheese because she doesn't get a lot of dairy. And she eats rice, but with different. She, I, uh, she usually eats the uh, not cereal and milk or not teriyaki. They, she says she eats rice and a type of soup. Yeah, it's I, miso soup. Yeah. Yes, the miso soup. So that's the eggs and rice mm. for, or sorry, eggs and rice with fish. But the cheese, it should be number one, but we're gonna check what the what it says in a moment. We're gonna continue listening for what does a uh, typical Australian breakfast and the Australian dinner. Okay. Let me try here. Listen to a conversation between that with cheese sauce. Yeah. I and miso soup. For lunch and dinner, we eat rice and some type of grilled meat or fish, often with eggs. Sometimes my mother makes seafood and vegetables with noodles or prepares a tofu dish. We don't eat cheese or drink milk very often. I guess I never thought about how much dairy people eat here. Is it different in Australia? Well, Australians do eat a lot of dairy, but maybe not as much as Americans. What is traditional Australian food like? Hmm. Well, breakfast is pretty much the same, milk and cereal, or muesli. For lunch and dinner, Aussie food used to be a lot like British food, lots of meat pies and fish and chips. But now there is more variety. Sandwiches are common, and we eat a lot of meat. Lamb and beef are popular. Some people even eat kangaroo steak, but that's a special dish. Kangaroo steak? 
What's that like? Delicious. You should try it. But hey, I love Japanese food too. I miss it so much. Hey, let's find a good Japanese restaurant and eat out tonight. Great idea. Okay. Yeah, we're going to check. But yeah, that's it. It would be eggs and rice, cheese, milk, and cereal. And then British is a typical dinner there. Okay. What about for the next listening? We're gonna, what was the next listening? What is for Carl? Uh, his train was delayed. And what did Carl miss? Meeting, Meeting with his advisor. With his advisor. Okay. And what is Carl having trouble with? An essay for this application. And the woman suggested Carl? Switch appointments with someone. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there is a mistake because number one, Akiko isn't used to eating cheese, not vegetables and soup. The listening says she's not used to use eating cheese, but here the answer in the platform says vegetable and soup. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have to report that one because that one is incorrect. Okay, and the others are okay. All right, any questions for this part? So number one is incorrect in the platform, but the listening is the cheese was the correct one. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's, it depends on the, the question because I, Akiko isn't used to eating and, it's, and she explained that they eat cheese and, and but at the moment they eat uh, uh, veg uh, vegetable and, and soup. Yes, but this is normal for Akiko. Akiko is normal for her to eat soup and vegetables. Yeah, but they, they uh, isn't used to eating that. Or no, I don't know. No, who, who, who they, the family? Yeah. The family isn't used to eating that. Uh huh. But Akiko, yes. That's why this says Akiko isn't used to eating. She is not normal for Akiko to eat cheese. Okay. It, it is normal for Akiko to eat the soup. Mm -hmm. For example, is it isn't used to eating cereal and milk. This is not normal for Akiko. And the other ones were okay as we can see. All right, let's go to part two. Let's check part two. Combine and rewrite the sentences. Okay, here I think many had uh, some mistakes, correct? There are some that is, are not correct. I have problem in this part. All of my answers are incorrect. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I wrote the first one in that way. Unlike Japanese people generally study American English. Comma, people in France study British English. Sorry for my dog because it's barking a lot. No, no, it's okay, Roxana. Okay, don't worry, Roxana. I don't know if you moment, listen. I listen, no problem, Roxana. So Roxana, I think it's the other, okay. Here we have the other way. Unlike, and then oh. people in France. Unlike people in France, Japanese people generally study American English. Oh, you need to write only only uh, one part of the of the of the first sentence. No, you need to write. Yeah, yes, exactly. Because you don't have you don't repeat the same thing. It's the same. When you say unlike, is this means that it's different than the people in France. Okay. Mm hmm. The same for the other ones. Take a look, numbers two, three, and four. I take up. Do you know you said you had a problem with one of them? 
or no? Yeah, with the with the second one because I, I was supposed to. I, I think we were supposed to uh, uh, combine the sentences, and if you the answer to the second one, they they add the 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 word while, but they kept both sentences. Correct. Because oh. you say, you're, no, you're right. While some people love online shopping, uh, some people have never shopped online. Okay. It should have just been the while and then the comma for the sum. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And like number three is that they combine. There's the comma and mm -hmm. then continue the next part or at the beginning, unlike. Mm -hmm. And number four, sorry, in number four, be careful because in number four, there is no space. This is the incorrect in the platform because uh -huh. there is a comma, but there is no space. So you have to make sure there is no space. But, but, but the, 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 but that's a grammar, that's a typing error, right? That is a typing okay, error. Okay. Okay. Because there is a, always, always in English, there is a space after the comma. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, in, in, a, in the explanation and the plan, the platform they use in the in the in the chart, they use comma. Yes. It is a mistake, right? No, no, no. Comma is okay. The mistake is no space. Look, here there is no space. It there should always be a space. Oh, it, it, what you use? You use comma. It is in the middle of the sentence. You use a comma after the first part, so before the introduction. So always you use, for example, when uh, if you were using any of the sentences, always after the first topic, unlike teenagers, comma. Talk teenagers like chatting online, comma. But when you use the conjunction at the beginning. When you use the conjunction at the beginning. But it, in this case, it's in the middle. Mm -hmm. So Sue's parent, unlike, it should be, uh, except for the fact Sue's parents are traditional, except for the fact that they want her to have a career. It's not necessary, but in there, I don't know why they put it. I think somebody made a mistake when they wrote it. I think in this part, the person who typed it in, put in the incorrect because I see some mistakes like the period that is not supposed to be there, uh, the capital letter that is not, the space that should be. So... That's why we go to make sure that we you put it in correctly. Not correctly, grammatically, correctly for the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in number two, look, make sure you take a screenshot. That way you can correct it or add something additionally. Teacher, I have a question about the, the number two in part two. Okay. So so we, we have to uh, th this exercise is about uh, in their questions, right? Yes. So uh, why in the in the answer of the second one, why is the the verb before the noun if it's not a, if it's not a ending with a, a question mark? It, it should be the auxiliary. So it, it should be how people can afford to buy homes in this city is beyond me. Oh, okay. So the 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 verb can should be after people correct okay. that is the grammatically that is the correct in the platform is not correct that's why we work together to make sure that you understand that in the platform this one number two the same the example is not correct is because the correct way is how always the auxiliary is going to be after because it's like a sentence oh it it's a mistake in the platform. Yes, that's what that's because what... they didn't change uh, the, the the subject with the with the verb. Correct, exactly. They they didn't change the subject and a verb because it's, the structure is not a question. The structure is a sentence. Okay. Ah, uh, for that reason, I I wrote. People can, and, and the plans for take me about how me with a mistake. Mm 
Exactly. That's why we take the time to compare here so that you, you understand that you are correct, but the platform has a mistake. That way you understand that grammatically the correct way is how people can afford to yeah. buy homes. But in the platform, the person they wrote it, wrote it incorrectly. Yeah. Okay. Now let's take a look at part C. Circle the words, which I think was fairly easy because it's only choosing A or B. And when it's only A and B, it's not so complicated. You have 50-50 chance if you make a mistake. So here, take a moment, look, make sure that you have the correct words. Yes. Okay. Let me know if you want me to stop or you want to check or you're, if you don't know the word or the meaning and I will stop and explain. I don't have problem in that part. I understand. Okay, and everybody else, it's okay? Yes, the teacher is okay. Okay. Good. All right. In part T, part sorry, part D, where you write the words, it's only the word keep or stay, right? And then in the next part, similar. So here, take a look. We're making sure everything is okay. You can see only number two is stay. The others keep, 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 keep. And then number six is stay. So only number two and six. The teacher and the meaning of keep and stay is the same. Mm, no. Mm, yes, the word keep and stay are similar in meaning, but they have different functions. So keep is like maintain. So when you say keep, keep going or keep going, keep doing is maintain and stay is not move. It's similar, right? Similar, but it's, it's not the same. It's not the same ideas. Okay. It's like, um, like in Spanish, like continua y manténgase. They're similar, but they're not the same. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. All right, good. And then... In part two, we have several words. Here was which word was the correct one, okay? We had to use the words drive, get, make, okay? And you can see number one, drive. Drive. Two, makes with S. Yeah, because it's, it's it. It's a third person singular. Correct. The same for number three, makes. Yeah. And then number four is only make. Number five has two meanings. You can, the people throw trash on the ground, make me mad or drive me mad. And then the last one, only one possibility gets. Gets. Okay. And the last yeah. part, the reading. The reading was only true or false or here true or false according to the information. Okay. Yeah. What is sure. it? Let me know if you have a question, something you're not clear. Uh, you say, hey, you, I didn't understand that in the reading. I understand it's a short paragraph. But it's, it was clear for me. Excellent, Roxana. Very good. And for everybody else, it's okay? Woo. Uh, very good. I like the talking. It's very good. I, I, I see why you are in advance. I understand. Excellent. Excellent, my classmates. All right. Well, so too much talking. Oof. Hasta, 
I'm tired. It's time to go home. It's time to go rest. I, I, I talk too much. Talk too much. Okay. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great time. Monday, we begin section three. Okay. 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 Right, guys. See you guys on Monday. Thank you. Monday. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.